It's a great joy to be speaking to you from this most beautiful place as we begin our Advent journey. Wherever you are, whatever you're facing at the moment, whether it is something good or whether it is difficult and challenging, do be assured that all of us who live, work and pray here at York Minster stand with you in our prayers. One of the many joys of living and working here in York, and perhaps some of you who know this place well or have visited many years ago will remember that there are mornings when there is chocolate on the air. Some mornings I'll get up, walk in to the Minster, perhaps for prayers in the morning, and the smell of a very well-known four-part bar will be on the air chocolate on the air, almost breathing in uh, chocolate. Now for me that's in some very small way but significant way a hint and a clue about Advent and what Christians are doing in Advent. In many respects Christians live an in-between sort of life, deeply engaged deeply loving this world, its science, its literature, its friendships, its love, its warmth, uh, wanting to make the world a better place, uh, standing with those who are hungry this day and don't need to be, those who are in poverty and excluded from the enjoyment of life, the church is deeply invested in this world and in this world becoming what we pray, the kingdom of God on earth, where everything we know and love about God in Christ is seen in our way with others. Christians live deep-rooted in this world, but also Christians live longing for the coming of that kingdom which will bring the new age fully into play and into place. Each day we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your, your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Christians are in between people, people who know that the new age of the kingdom has begun with the resurrection of Jesus, the overturning of death. But we are people too that know the world is not as it should be, where one mouth and one stomach remains unfed and empty. The kingdom has not yet come in all its fullness. And so we pray and we work for that day. Advent is about that. The waiting and the longing and the desiring. It's a space for the hallowing of desire that God's kingdom may come and that we may play, however small, our significant part in it. So what of the chocolate? Well, whenever I smell that chocolate on the air uh, in York, I think of the kingdom. Those who follow the way of Jesus are called people, not only in between people, but called. I've been collared, but others have been called. Called to follow him and to live his story in the detail and the warp and weft of daily life, to make the priorities of the kingdom real here and now. We are called, and you are called, to follow the way of Jesus Christ, the way of the kingdom, that signs of the kingdom, signs of hope and life and love and light may break forth even in this world with all its pandemic sorrows and sadnesses. That's the idea of Advent, that we spend time preparing for the great festivity in December, but preparing well to receive Christ, not only as we will do 
in the baby of Bethlehem, but receiving Christ in the poor and the challenge to make lives better, to speak up that word for justice and for inclusion, that word that is a sign of God's kingdom, a sign that the chocolate is on the air, uh, the feast is coming, the new age is on its way, when all shall see God together and rejoice, when there will be wiping away of tears and death, so much in our minds, this difficult year, this Covid year, but not Covid year, this year of our Lord, when death shall be no more. This is the kingdom come in all its fullness. And Advent, our opportunity to light the fire, to think again, to reorder our priorities, to say yes to the call of Christ in our life, to be part of his big story of the coming kingdom when every tear is wiped away. Will you be part of that? I want to want to be part of that. Augustine, I think it was, who said, I want to want what you want. It was honest, it was authentic and real. And I find a lot of comfort in that. If you want to want the way of Christ in the world, the way of the kingdom, when tears are wiped, when the little ones of this world stand up and are raised, and the mighty and the powerful, well, we will have to take our place as the little ones of this world stream into God's kingdom. So be it, Lord. Come, Lord. This is the cry. This is the prayer. This is the hope of Advent. We look forward to welcoming you to York Minster as soon as you can come, as soon as you can make the journey. And we do feel that uh, we miss each other, don't we, uh, in this time of restriction and limited travel. Please do join us. We've provided many offerings online through our website, yorkminster.org. Um, do check us out there. There are resources to encourage you in prayer, some beautiful music, uh, some offerings for Advent and when it comes for Christmas. So do please make your way with us. But whether you do that or whether you make your way with Jesus Christ in other places or in other ways, know that we pray for you and we ask for God's richest blessing to rest upon you. Thank you.